that spawn here in this place that I have no idea what it is. Friendly tank, friendly tank. Pool! Really shallow. Actually, this is a little more level, not the pool itself. Um, what else? I, I was talking about something that I cut myself off to start talking about something else again. <sighs> the destruction engine? Or was it suppressing? Or what was it? I saw the grenade behind me. Oof. God damn, there's grenades everywhere. I thought I saw some. Yep, I did see something. Ah, he's behind me. Oh well. Uh, there's, just, there's still so much I have to learn about this game, not just the maps, but I haven't unlocked half of the weapons available either, and I, I, I'll never know that, you know, which, which gun is. I, I know they're all really balanced, and it seems they, they, they put a lot of effort into making no one gun feel unfair. There's a couple of extremes that are a little bit weird, but they're kind of so specialized that few people seem to use them anyway, so that's good, I think. Nice. I'm happy with how that went. Should I go up there? That seems kind of like a death trap from, from what I experienced last time I went up here. Oh, oh, yep, hello. He's still there. I wonder if that's the same guy that shot last time. Probably, considering he's just lying there. Level 3, jeez. I, I do remember I was talking about that games like this are usually good at differentiating what's supposed to be anti-armor and anti-infantry. Anti-personnel, they call it, I suppose. It's like the M2, uh, the M320 grenade launcher on the assault rifle, is probably supposed to be anti-personnel. So even though it's a grenade, it probably does very little damage to armor. I'm just, I'm spitballing. I'm guessing. I have no idea if this is the case, but I would expect it to be the case. Oh shit! That's, that's a. Is that a? F no, that isn't a friendly. There was, I mean, oh god, I was so confused. There was one behind. Oh jeez. Again, I'm bad at this game still. I hesitate too much. I don't even know if this server has friendly fire. Most of them don't, which I think is a shame. Because I like friendly fire. Friendly fire forces you to, to think about who you're shooting and why. And especially with, with mechanics like the suppression. If there's no friendly fire and you have ten dudes in a hallway, you can just all shoot each other's backs. It doesn't really matter. If a round or two goes by, you're all getting suppression bonus. That's when the enemy finally dies anyway. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you say so. I'll take it. Okay, we're going for B, I guess. Oh yeah, that's right, I gave an order to go to B. Yes, so, traditionally, I would expect the... Anti-tank engineer stuff. I don't even know where he is, I was just shooting blindly. Hoping I might at least suppress him a bit. I, I, I would expect the RPG to be less effective against the infantry and the M203, M320 <sighs> to be more effective against the infantry compared to. Uh, those guys are getting into that cop copper. <sighs> well, how far do I get with the. Uh, I can't see what the next unlock is, can I? No. I got the EOD bot last time I played Engineer. That's cool. I, I, I wanna have more fun with that. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I, I really don't know. We're losing. I don't. Well, actually, it's pretty even, weirdly enough. I don't understand how that works because it feels like they've had most of them, most of the points for most of the round so far. Ooh, by the way, looking at the looking at the score, this is totally a thousand ticket map or server, isn't it? I don't know how I feel about those. Long matches are fun, but when I just sort of want to experience as many maps as I can, so that I can learn them all. Being stuck on a map for an hour isn't the most appealing proposition. Where are the enemies going to come from? They can come from E or they can come from C. In other words, I'm screwed no matter where I stand. Help. Oh, right, I still forgot to change away from the grenade launcher. Oh, I think we got B. Should we go for E next? Uh, that's how you do it. Did he shout something in Russian that no one can understand because it's in Russian? Ah, oh, uh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Aww, oh, there's more than one of them. Look at those stupid carbon fiber. You get, when you buy premium, you get the carbon fiber dog tags to use. Usually you unlock dog tags by doing things like getting a certain amount of 
whatever's in a round or ever or something. Or just by gaining high rank, but if you buy premium, you can start unlocking these sweet ass carbon fiber dog tags, which is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. So kudos to whoever thought of that, because it's the perfect douchebag thing to show off if you think you're awesome for buying premium. That is exactly the kind of thing I would expect from that kind of person. <laughs> that works for me. Not that carbon fiber, I mean, carbon fiber is actually, it, it can look cool in certain contexts, but... Dog tags? Carbon fiber dog tag with, with gold text? It's, it's not really, I... Right, that's right, I'm gonna switch from... You know what, no, I'm gonna keep the grenade launcher, just in case. I, I, I prefer being a medic type assault player with a med kit, but... I'm, I'm sort of trying to make myself use as much of the game as possible. I'm actually attempting to switch from the AEK to the... What's it called? The M416 as well. That's a good gun. I think I'm more comfortable with M416 than the AEK, but... Uh, so far, I've sort of been sticking with the gun that I just unlocked for the class that I unlocked it for. Because I want to make myself use as much of the content in the game as possible, so I can... So I don't end up dismissing something just for not seeming the way... I would prefer. Ow! I knew it was dead before he even started shooting. I think that's a good mindset to have. Just you unlock something, you use it for a while to get a feel for it. The only thing I haven't, the only things I haven't used really are the pistols and the like. I unlock the UMP, which all classes can use, but every class I use already has a weapon that I'm trying to learn. So I just realized that's just gonna get even worse now that I have the now that I bought all the expansions because the expansions include weapons. I'm gonna get the FAMAS soon enough. Then I'm gonna have to try that, and then I'm gonna have to pass up. Oh wow. Then we're gonna have to pass up on the F2000, which I unlock next for assault, because I want to use the FAMAS instead of... Oh, this is just complicated. But I like the selection of weapon in this game. Selection of weapons. There's a whole bunch of them. Enough to make a lot of the classes very versatile, which I appreciate. You can, for instance, have... Like I said, there's, there's SMG-type weapons that every class can use. And that's cool. Oh, and there's things like, uh, you can have the, uh, like there's support class weapons that are virtually assault rifles, and there are recon class guns that are virtually uh, assault rifles again. Let's see if I can get into the gunner seat. Yes. Hope you're a good pilot, because my life is in your hands. Let's roll, or, uh, uh hover. Fly? Uh oh. Uh oh, that's not good. Hey, I got a kill. Did I, seriously, uh, did I seriously kill his gunner? Or his pilot, maybe? I don't know how this works exactly. Let's do that again. <laughs> I, I love being a gunner. It's so much fun to... To be in the air without having the... Responsibility of keeping at least one other person alive with your every single move. I can't fly in these helicopters. They're so hard to use. There's a good reason for your server to not have friendly fire. I couldn't see what I was shooting at, so... Please don't. Please don't kill us. Please don't. Oh, cool. Air warfare. Um, we're gonna die. We are so dead. I'm out. Sorry, guy. Hello, what's going on on this roof? Are we having fun? Alright, I don't have the med kit, never mind. Um, what are we doing? Why was there a helicopter there? Was that there all the. It wasn't there when I landed, was it? Um. Oh crap, you can't just walk up here? Usually when I see a roof like this in a battlefield game, I expect there to not be a direct way to get up there. I expect there to be a bunch of people who. who. Parachute it down there from their planes and helicopters, and then, well, let's let's. Oh, that hurt! I just wanted the points for capturing it. <laughs> That's all I really want. That's all I care about. Points. What the heck kind of room is that? Oh, it's a TV station. It says on the friggin' screen, and I already knew that because I've seen this map before. I knew there's a TV station on Shark Shark Key. Is that not this name? 
That beeping is a, I believe, a re. Yep, there it is. Recon dudes can plop these down so you can spawn on them if you're in the same squad. Speaking of spawning in the same squad, that was something I wanted to talk about. For some reason, for some weird reason that I haven't figured out, um, you can spawn on anyone in your squad. In 2 and 2142, you can only spawn on your squad leader. But they changed that so you can spawn as long as you're in the same squad. I don't really know how to feel about that. It makes being a squad more beneficial overall. Because as long as someone in your squad is still alive, you can spawn on them. That's obviously a good thing. Uh oh. And that, that gives people more incentive to be in squads, and it puts less pressure on the squad leader to stay alive. But at the same time, it makes the squad leader, it's, it's kind of inconsequential who he is. Because no one follows or gives orders. And you can spawn on anyone who's in the same squad. So why is there, why is there even a squad leader? Yo! No. Oh. Oh. That's an engineer, isn't it? Oh, you're assault. You're assault, but you're playing with a PP2000. Oh, that's interesting. Again, probably, it seems like there's a good balance between the guns in this game. Speaking of squad members, why aren't I doing that? Because I unlocked the PP2000 a long time ago. And that's one of those guns that any class can use. Did I just level up? I think I just leveled up. Ow! So yeah, I, I unlocked that and I was like, eh, probably good use for the Engineer, because I don't have any good weapons for the Engineer yet. Maybe for Recon, because I wasn't comfortable with the default sniper rifle. But then I ended up not using it, because I didn't think it was good. But there's a guy who's a higher rank than I am, and he's using it, and he killed me with it. So that red glare, that was the laser sight. So I was waving it in my face. Problem is, you can't tell if it's... If it's an enemy, or a friendly, who's waving it around. And they're sort of... Ooh, that was close. Sort of upsides and downsides to that, too. Waving around in an enemy's face can make him be all like, Ah, it's red, I can't see anything! Or it can be all like, Hey, someone's aiming at me, I'm gonna shoot them. So it's risky. I, 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 try, I, I mostly stay away from the laser sights and the flashlights for that reason. But I've started warming up to it. If you saw my recon rifle, I have a laser sight of that. Because it makes it more accurate. But there's plenty of cases where I could have a, a laser sight or a flashlight where I choose not to. Because I'm not sure what the trade-offs are exactly and it kind of plays risky. Still one more. There's still one more. There he is. That's not good. I'm out of ammo. I could jump into this tank. But I'm not sure if that's safe. Now someone else just took the other seat. Ah, it's raining Americans. Why am I running into combat when I know I'm out of ammo? Ah. Ah, ah, <laughs> I was gonna stand there and make sounds. Where'd all the enemies go? I guess we're going for that point over there. E. Oh yeah, I have orders to attack E even. I, I don't even pay attention to my own orders because they're so... Uh -oh. Because they're kind of hard to spot. They don't show up on the minimap and there's no line between you and the order to say go there. They kind of downplay the whole orders system, which is a damn shame, because I loved how that worked in the older games. But at the same time, they make it work, it's still a good game, I don't, it's, I, I, I can't... There's a lot of changes between this and the older games. And I can spend all day pointing them out, but I'm not sure yet if I should complain about them or not. Because I'm not sure if a lot of them make things worse or better. Maybe both. Maybe it's maybe it isn't worse or better. It's just different. I haven't decided yet. Oh, sorry. What's that sound? I hear a weird sound. But I don't know what it is. There's that signature glare of a sniper rifle being zoomed in. Uh oh. Watch your back, mate. There's enemies here. 
Cool, bad time to reload. That's another change that I actually think is worse, but whatever. Um, you have an ammo pool in this game, instead of a magazine pool. So if you shoot a couple of rounds and then reload, you don't lose the rest of the magazine, which you would have in 2 and 2142. But I think a lot of people think that's better, rather than worse or just different. I think it's worse, but that's clearly just me. Not just just me, but there's a lot of people who wouldn't agree. Look at all those points I racked up for shooting toward people. Hey, you. Um, where's ammo? There it is. This game also isn't very good about pointing out who's requesting what when. Or where, rather. Ah, shit, 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 Are you learning something every day? I'm not even sure what weapon to use or what sidearm to use. I'm using the uh, 1911 with everything now, but that's just because it does more damage per shot than most of the other pistols. I like to be able to just add as much damage as I can with as few clicks as possible when it when it finally comes down to whipping out a sidearm. That is a soap flam. They are annoying as hell to destroy. Is that a friendly soap flam? Would it still blind me? No, it isn't. Oh, there it goes. Weird. That's a recon tool. They can pl pl plop those things down and use them either as remote cameras to look around with whenever they want, and also to les laser designate vehicles with and spot enemies. That's the primary use. You can plop one of those things down and take remote control of it and point it toward enemy air or air targets. Air targets primarily because. Those are hard to hit, but any vehicle that gets lasered, I think... How does it work? Guided missiles lock on to things that are lased by the Soflam. But the Javelin, which the Engineer can unlock, also deals more damage... ...if you lock it on with the Soflam, I think. I think that's how it works. I like playing with that thing with a recon, but I've never... I haven't unlocked the sti er the javelin yet, so I don't know. Yeah, unlocks a new swanky new sight. I don't like scopes in this game, unless it's for the sniper rifle. But it's, I guess it's cool that you get to use any scope with any gun if you play long enough with everything. There's so much crap to unlock in this game, even if it's just here's the same scope for a new rifle. There's so much to unlock. I like that a lot. Let's go there. Don't, don't, don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. Oh, someone else shot him. Ah! <laughs> Help. I'm about to die. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> that was not a friendly tank. I, I'm, I st I'm still learning, like, how to spot exactly what's an enemy and what's a friendly... Warp, oh, a lot better than my first few rounds of playing this. First map I played, I was so unused to the graphical fidelity of everything and everything moving and being animated and everything, and I had barely seen any of the game before that. I, I couldn't even tell what was an enemy and what was a tree at that point. Oh crap, I'm completely out of ammo. <laughs> Ow! That's probably for the better. Holy crap, look at those kills. Wait. I'm the s I have the second high score on the server. How does this work? I've been playing this game for 20 hours. And this is my first time on the map, and I have the second highest score on the server. What? I, can someone explain how that works? Because I, I don't understand it. Huh. I'm just running around being bewildered and confused. Well, okay, we just won. That was fun. That was fun. I like that map. Awesome. Ah, this game is... Ah, look, look at that. How the hell did that happen? Weird. Let's watch this tick up just because I love doing so. Oh man, look at all that. Look at all that experience. Or whatever they call it. I don't know what they call it. Ooh, grenades. I love unlocking stuff. Yep, new level. New dog tag. Yeah, they call it XP. 
You scope for my thing, side for my thing, and 16 ribbons. Probably a bunch of suppression ribbons and stuff, and so my assignments go up. I almost have this thing. I don't know what that is. I can't click on it from here. Let's find out. Um, what was it? That one? Ooh, I can unlock the AUG. I just need 10 squatter wives. 